Hey guys, I'm Matt Aspland and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create replication for your first person flashlight. So if I were to hit play, I'll show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see, we have two players in this game here. If I were to move one player over to this wall so we can see the flashlight turning on and off, I'll move the other one over here as well. You can see if I press F, the flashlight turns on for this player, but the other player can see it. And I press F, it turns off again. And the same works for both players as well. So this is what we're going over in setting up today, actually being able to turn off and on and toggle our flashlights in a multiplayer game. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create our input for toggling our flashlight. Now you may already have this set up, you may already have turning the flashlight on and off set up, you just want to replicate it. If so, that's perfectly fine, I'll go through this quickly. So what we're going to do is hit control space to open up our content browser and I'm going to go to content, third person, input actions to go to where I create my input actions. I'm going to right click, go to input and create an input action, naming this IA underscore flashlight. And then I'm going to go into just my input folder and open up my IMC default or my input mapping context. In here, I'm going to add a mapping, adding in my IA flashlight, which I just created and setting the key value to be F or whatever it is that you want. Once we've done that, we'll save it and close this and open up our character blueprint. So for me, that's going to be content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. Let's go over to the viewport and you can see I've already got my first person camera set up. And what I'm gonna do is just select my camera, add a component and I'm going to add a flashlight. And I'm going to add a spotlight. And we'll add that like so. And then what we're going to do is we want to reset the rotation so it's facing forwards like so. I'm just going to move it forwards a little bit like this. And then also just for the purpose of the tutorial, increase the intensity up to the maximum just so we can very clearly see it. Now you can customize this however you want, put it wherever you want, and all that good stuff. But for the purpose of this video, this is going to be perfectly fine for me. What I'm also going to do is make sure that the default value of visible is set to false so it's turned off by default. I'm going to compile and save this and go over to our event graph. In here, I'm going to right click and search for flashlight to get the enhanced action event we just created earlier for the IA flashlight or whatever it is that you called it. And we're going to open this up so we can access the started. And now this is how we're going to obviously toggle our flashlight. But before we call this, we need to actually create a custom event to call. So we're going to go up just above this, right click, add a custom event. And I'm going to name this one toggle flashlight on server and on the right over here in the details panel we want to change replicate from not replicated to run on server then underneath this we're going to right click and get another custom event naming this toggle flashlight on client like so and then we want to set this replicated to multicast now on the server what we're going to do is toggle flashlight on client so the server is going to call the client and then the client is going to actually do the code we want. So out of this, we're then going to come out and get a flip-flop. A, we're going to turn our flashlight on. B, we're going to turn it off. So I'm going to get the spotlight, drag it into here like so. And out of this, I'm going to set visibility like this. So I've got spotlight again for some reason. And I'm going to plug that into A and tick new visibility and duplicate it, plug it into B and untick new visibility. So this event will fire off, it will go through A first, turn the flashlight on, next time it's called it will go through B, turn it off, and then A, B, A, B, perfectly like so. Now what we need to do is when we press the flashlight button, it's going to call this event. So out started, we're going to toggle flashlight on server. So when we press F, it will call this event on the server, which will then call another event on the client, which is then going to toggle our flashlight. So let's compile and save that and hit play to test this out. So let's again move our characters into position like so. So we'll go over to this wall so we can see it nice and clearly. And if I to press F, you can see we now have the flashlight toggled perfectly like so on that client. And if we go onto this one as well, it's still going to work perfectly too. So you can see we now have the flashlight working on the server. We're going to be able to toggle it on and off, which works in multiplayer perfectly like this. We're replicating it perfectly how we want. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. 
what we've done is we've got it set up so we can toggle on and off a flashlight in a multiplayer game perfectly like so. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.